What if the universe never actually started? Quantum mechanics could erase the Big Bang, assuming the universe has energy at all, but that's surprisingly controversial. Confused? Not for long. See, standard quantum mechanics is essentially a way of predicting the future, or reconstructing the past. It's simple, really. One has one equation, the Schrodinger equation, and one input, the quantum wave function at some moment of time describing electrons, atoms, or even the whole universe. Combining these two ingredients, you can figure out precisely how the wave function changes over time, both the way it did behave in the past and how it will behave in the future. The key ingredient here, however, is how much energy the system under consideration has. The more energy it has, the faster it changes, and if it has zero energy, it doesn't change at all. So if we can describe the whole universe quantum mechanically, which we probably can, then we should be able to run the clock back on the universe forever, so long as it has non-zero energy. So that's the so-called quantum eternity theorem. If the universe has non-zero total energy and is describable by standard quantum mechanics, then the universe exists and is changing at all moments going infinitely both to the past and the future. And while it seems super reasonable, that first statement, that the universe has non-zero total energy, is contentious. See, we don't really have any idea how to quantize the universe. There's been lots of attempts, starting in the 1960s with the Wheeler-DeWitt equation, which tried to quantize Einstein's general relativity. But one of the features of general relativity is that it doesn't have a preferred notion of time, which throws a wrench in the whole program. What would normally appear as the Hamiltonian in the Schrodinger equation, which quantifies both the energy of the system and its time evolution, becomes identically zero as a consequence of this diffeomorphism invariance. And what that means is that, at least in canonical quantum gravity, there is no wave function evolution. In fact, there's no external time at all. So if the Wheeler-DeWitt equation governs the universe, there's no external notion of time. So the question of whether the universe existed forever or had a beginning becomes meaningless. It's like asking what's north of the North Pole. On the other hand, canonical quantum gravity isn't the only way people have tried to describe the universe in a quantum way. You may have heard of the holographic principle. It's another attempt to do the same. And in that context, there is a well-defined notion of external time given explicitly by the time evolution of the holographic, non-gravitating, side of the universe. In that setting, the energy of the universe is almost always non-zero, meaning the quantum eternity theorem applies, making the universe genuinely eternal. But here's the kicker. We don't actually know which quantum theory of the universe, if any, is correct. So while the quantum eternity theorem is mathematically elegant, it rests on assumptions that are still hotly contested. Looks like we'll need to fund physicists for a bit longer.